District Attorney's Office, Bernie DeSimone, Director of the Auckland County Drug Task Force, George Lutz, and our Detective Sergeant oversaw this case, Detective Sergeant Rick Marsh. Yesterday, our department, along with the Rockland County District Attorney's Office, Rockland County Drug Task Force, and Rockland County SWAT Team, which is called the REACT Team, executed a search warrant at 4 Prairie Avenue here in the village of Suffern. This search warrant was obtained due to a several month long investigation into narcotics activity at this address. It actually started with neighbor complaints, the initial uh, complaints that came in. With the assistance of the Rockland County Drug Task Force, our Detective Bureau used numerous investigative measures to develop, to develop a case which led to this search warrant. At 6 a.m. yesterday's date, the Rockland County SWAT team entered this residence on a no-knock warrant and placed the resident, Gustavo Roche, 43 years old, under arrest. After a search of this premises, we located and seized over 60 grams of heroin and cocaine, numerous unidentified prescription pills, an abundance of narcotics packaging material, $57,000 in cash, brass knuckles, an illegal switchblade, and a loaded Glock 9mm handgun, which was reported stolen last month here in Rockland County. Upon further investigation, it was determined that the suspect, Gustavo Roche, was a six-time convicted felon. These convictions were primarily for narcotics and weapons possession. The suspect was arraigned in his charges and remanded to the Rockland County Jail due to his past felony convictions. Roche is currently charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance, third degree, two counts. Criminal possession of a controlled substance, seventh degree, three counts. Criminal possession of a weapon, third degree, four counts. Criminal possession of a weapon, second degree, one count. And criminal possession of stolen property, fourth degree, which deals with possession of a stolen firearm. Additional charges will be filed pending lab results. And I also want to stress a thanks to the community for supporting us on this. This residence is in a very, very good residential community, hardworking people, and a lot of children there. So to get rid of this drug house in there with the assistance of the DA's office and drug task force was priceless. I want, really want to sincerely thank our DA Tom Walsh and his staff and the drug task force for assisting us with this investigation. Thank you. We're not going to hear from our attorney, Tom Walsh. Good morning, everyone, and I'd like to thank the mayor and the chief, as well as the assistant district attorneys, investigators, and police officers that joined together to protect the people of Rockland County. Unfortunately, in Rockland County, over 2018 to 2019, we have seen a 29% increase in overdoses. Generally, in the state, it was a 4% decline. And for the last year, I've been saying we must deal with this crisis. And I'm very happy to say with this fine group of individuals, we've made a step in denting the opioid and narcotic and other drug problems that we have in this county. And what I also would like to emphasize as part of a united Rockman, joining together with the task force and the police department of the village of Suffering, we've managed to stop some drug activity. And as the chief just alluded to, perhaps help save a neighborhood. And we must ensure that the people in Rockland County feel safe and secure and have a quality of life. And also because we want to stress a united campaign against opioids, I want to thank those police departments and their chief that have joined in in the Narcotics Task Force under George Lutz to see how we are going to address constantly the opioid crisis of our county. And Clarkstown under Chief McCullough, Orangetown under Chief Butterworth, Avistro under Chief Murphy, and the Village of Spring Valley under Chief Modica, Paul Modica have joined in our task force, and we look forward to working with those departments in the Village of Suffering to ensuring that we have the quality of life and reduce opioids in this county. We cannot do it without cooperation from police departments, 
We cannot do it without the help of the people in our communities. And we would ask them to reach out to their police department, to the task force, and help us root out this scourge and this plague that is destroying lives. I said one of the things that we always want to do, we want to have a helping hand. And we want to assure the people that have addiction or they know of people because it strikes husbands, wives, children, siblings, friends, that we are here to help. But we also send a strong message today that those predators that prey in our community and the weak will be rooted out and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Once again, I would like to thank all of the law enforcement officials involved here, including the district attorney, the Suffren Police Department, which did an excellent, outstanding job. And once again, I want to urge all of the citizens out there in the village of Suffren or throughout Rockland County, if you see something, say something. Pick up the phone and call the police department. We can urge you to do that, to help us, to help you. If there are any questions, I'm sure that the chief or the district attorney would like to answer. What does that say to you, Mayor, and maybe uh, District Attorney, that that steps from, from the Village Hall and the Police Department, this activity is going on? Correct. This activity can happen anywhere, any place, any time. And that's why we need the help of all of our law enforcement officials and the help of our residents to report any unusual activity. So we once again urge all, and with the help of the police departments and the law enforcement officials, we can correct these, correct these conditions. Um, do you know, can you say where the gun was stolen from? You said it was in Rockland County, but was it like a personal gun? Was it like I think we're still working on that. I mean, that just happened yesterday. We will have an answer for that. We just know we're still in the county. I just don't have the specifics on it at this time. they are working on everything all day yesterday, and it'll continue to be investigated today. Would you say that this uh, man is like a drug trafficker, or was he just like a drug dealer? What would you kind of I, I, I think with the amount of cash we found in it, I, don't, I think there's a little bit more than any of us expected. Obviously, we're about $57,000 in the residence. Obviously, to me, it was obviously a little bit more than a step up of just maybe five to nine bags. I would say a little bit higher. Plus, for his past convictions, he's been, you know, charged and convicted of felonies involving narcotic sale and weapons as well. So I'd say probably a little higher. Where does this rank in terms of uh, arrests and drug crime in, in San Francisco? I, I'd say cash-wise, that's the biggest one I've ever seen in my 30 years here and going up in the village, born and raised. Uh, narcotics amount, I think, will probably be one of the biggest once everything is calculated through the lab and processed and tested. Probably be one of the biggest ones, if not the biggest, I've seen in my career. Did he resist arrest whenever SWAT he, he did not. The Rockland County React SWAT team had him in custody very quickly. They went in, uh, like I said, a no-knock warrant at 6 a.m., and there was no resisting arrest charge at that time. Chief, can you talk about the, the peril, the difficulty of a multifamily home, SWAT team arriving at 6 a.m., you've got families all, you've got people, residents yeah. all around them. Sure. How tricky was that and, and what efforts do you take to mitigate those? I, I think the, the bottom line is a SWAT team and, you know, uh, Rick Marshall, the tech facility, he's a team leader on there. One of the issues I think everybody we face there, any, any time you go to a residence like that, this was an upstairs apartment. It's obviously a risk going upstairs, going in. Obviously, he's been through the game before with six felony convictions. That's always a, a danger. He knows how the system works. So I think it's more of a danger because you have many more people living in that apartment building at that time, which obviously could have been affected by his actions if he decided to do something out of the ordinary to resist all arrest. Fortunately, he did not. Plus the fact that a little weapon in there as well. Fortunately, it ended the way it did. Um, Mr. District Attorney, what, um, a lot, lot of charges here. If you were convicted of all of those, how much time do you spend behind those? At this time, I won't comment on what charges we're ultimately going to bring, nor what a possible sentence could be, because the matter is still under investigation to determine what appropriate level of charges in this case. Mm -hmm. So you spoke about this being part of a broader thing of Rockland County tackling opioids and things like that. Is this a new initiative under your leadership, or is this part of an ongoing thing? Well, under my leadership, we hope to re-emphasize the continuing efforts, as I had mentioned before, joining with all of the police departments and focus in on those major drug dealers, the people that I call the predators, and root them out of our community. And we hope to have this twofold process because we do want to have the helping hand. We know there's many unfortunate people that are addicted, 
and incarceration may not be the appropriate remedy for those. But we also know that there are many people that are not addicted who prey on these individuals. And we also want to have what I call the firm hand for those people and the helping hand for those that need the help. Does anyone have any other questions? Well, thank you, and thank you again. Thanks to all of our staff here and doing an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, we're creating those people. We have any, any to run on them as well. Um, the investigator is still working on some other stuff right now. Looking at the case, is still open. There'll probably be additional charges. The, the, the